Today we're going to make Kansas City Steaks All Beef Hot Dogs and Wolfgang Puck Air Fryer with a surprise. Let's get started. Hello everybody, Chef Bob here today. And today I'd like to show you how to make something really simple, hot dogs in an air fryer. Maybe you've never done it, and if you haven't, they come out great. So we're going to use Kansas City Steaks All Beef Hot Dogs. These are from QVC. They're a really good beef hot dog. And I have a couple of tricks up my sleeve, which you'll have to see as we progress. But what I'm going to do is I'll just preheat this to 350. I'm just going to get it started. I'm just going to crank this up to 30 minutes. It's not going to take 30. So while that's heating up at 350, I'm going to take some of our all beef hot dogs. Now some people like to score them, so I'll just score two to show you how they turn out. And then let's put the little score marks on here. And the other two I won't. We'll wait till this heats up and then I'll show you what my surprise is. Be right back. Okay, it's only been about two minutes. It's preheated to 350. So I'll show you one of my surprises. I have a couple of them in store. So you saw me score the two hot dogs. The other two hot dogs, I'm going to do something special with. What do I have here? Looks like bacon and some toothpicks. Let's see what we can do with that. So I'll just put a toothpick in this side. And we'll start wrapping this around. Get another toothpick. There's bacon dog number one. Get another toothpick. Put it in there. Just wrap it around. Real easy to do. Get another toothpick. So we have two bacon dogs right there. Now, and with the other two, let me take this off with one hand here. And if you don't like a lot of salt on your hot dogs or whatever, you don't have to do this step. But a lot of times, uh, to add a little flavor, I'm just going to take the two scored hot dogs that we scored. And I'm just going to put a little uh, garlic salt. This is just plain old garlic salt. And I'm just going to put a little of that on here. Just a real light amount. So now, push this aside. Open up our air fryer, and this is the larger Wolfgang Puck air fryer. I believe it's 5.7 or 8 quarts. We'll put them in here. And there we go. So, it should take maybe about 15 minutes. I'll bring it back when they're done and let you know how long it took. Okay, I can hear the bacon starting to sizzle that's wrapped around the hot dogs, and it's been about 12 minutes. And they're looking great. Let me get these out. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. And here are our scored hot dogs that we put a little bit of garlic salt on to enhance the flavor. Let me pull these up to the camera and show you. They are fantastic looking. Look at that. Huh? Two bacon wrapped dogs, two score dogs. Now we're not done with the surprises yet. So we get a nice bun here. Grab one of our dogs. Now let's say I wanted a cheese dog. No problem. We have some cheddar cheese here. Let me just put some cheese on here. And what I'll do is, I'm just going to put it back in the air fryer real quick. Let me get a little more cheese on here. I'll just use my fingers here and get it on there. Okay. Put that in there, and we're just going to put that in there for a little bit. Okay. So, that's going to be our cheese dog. Now, what if we want a chili dog? Now, I was going to show you how to make a quick hot dog chili. But I thought a lot of times maybe you don't want to go to the bother of making a little bit of chili or maybe you don't have the ground beef on hand, whatever. 
So I'm going to show you a little trick you can use. So we're going to take the other scored dog, put it on here. Now normally for your chili dog, you might want to put some, uh, some mustard on the side, okay. No problem. We have a little bit of uh, chopped up sweet onion here, a little Vidalia onion. So I'm going to try to put a little bit of that on the side. No problem. But you say, Bob, what about the chili? Well, that is where you can do a little bit of a trick here. Just take normal chili powder, whatever brand you have. And I should have put it on first. And I'm just going to lift the hot dog up here. And I'm just going to put the chili powder right in here. That's it. Rotate the dog a little. And there you have a chili dog without the chili. So basically, it's a quick way to give you that chili dog taste if you didn't have the ingredients on hand or didn't want to make some hot dog chili. So we have the chili dog, and we have the bacon dogs. Oh, forgot about our cheddar cheese dog. Oh, this is going to be hot. Oh, oh, oh. Look at our bacon cheddar dog. Look at that, huh? Huh? And what did we put in there? I was just talking for maybe a minute we had it in there. Let me uh, put one of these bacon dogs. Now, oh, when you make the bacon dogs, one important thing before you serve them, please remember to take out the toothpicks or you will not be happy. Okay. So let me hold this up to the camera and show you what we've made. We've made a bacon wrapped hot dog. We scored a hot dog and covered it with some cheddar cheese and melted it. And then we made a ch uh, chili dog with some mustard, diced with deli onions. No chili, but we used chili powder because we didn't have the ingredients to make the chili. Or I'm pretending I didn't. And a little spicy pickle on the side. This is fantastic. All in an air fryer, simple. The hot dogs turned out great. Now I'm going to try one. I'm going to go for the chili -less chili dog. Mmm, 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 very hot, mmm, 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 very hot, very delicious, and I can taste, I can taste just like the chili dog, because I put the chili powder, but I didn't have the chili, have a little pickle with it, mmm, mmm, so there you have it, um, simple hot dogs in an air fryer. And all I've done is show you a couple of ways to just spruce it up. Either, you know, a plain hot dog, cheddar dog, bacon dog, chili dog. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And uh, if you'd like to see more like it, please leave a comment in the comment section for more air fryer recipes or other creative types of things to do. And uh, please give me a thumbs up, uh, like, subscribe, and click that notification bell on YouTube. And that will let you know when I post new videos. So I'm going to have some hot dogs right now. And again, thank you for watching. Mm, this chili dog is great, but it's very hot. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Very good. Mmm. Very good. Mmm. Bacon dog. <laughs> and what's left of the chili dog? <laughs> mm -hmm. Some good eating.